E.T. trained actor. Since his debut on Generations 20 years ago, Fana McQuenna has been a SAFTA winning mainstay of local television. Acclaimed movie director Mark Forster was so impressed working with him on the film Machine Gun Preacher, he offered Fana a lead role in the zombie movie World War Z. Life as we know it will come to an end in 90 days. It's on us to change that. I can't leave my family. Don't pretend your family is exempt. When we talk about the end of humanity. I don't know if you've heard, but there's been a bit of a zombie attack and the safest place to be is on an aircraft. I've secured the plane, I just hope the pilot knows what he's doing. You ready to fly somewhere? Is this my pilot? Let's go, son. They were following the film's lead, where one of the means of escape from zombies is up in the air. In the event that Fana ever needs to take the controls, maybe for a sequel, we'd booked a morning in this advanced flight simulator at Lanceria with Chief Flying Instructor Shane Kay. It is scary how realistic this is. The sim is actually very close to the real aeroplane um, from a handling perspective. We can create all sorts of scenarios in the simulator, which is nice from the training perspective. We do teach you all the procedures, the emergency procedures, abnormal procedures before we go and fly the real aeroplane. That's the beauty of having a simulator. Funner's thorough approach to his work and to new experiences is well known. On the set of the film, he was typically up at three or four every morning, ready for action. And there was plenty of it. <laughs> Shay, did you make it? Only just, guys. We made it onto the ground, but uh, not quite on the runway. Just like in the movies, eh, Fana? No, absolutely. I mean, it feels so real. It's unbelievable. I mean, I don't even have to act, you know what I mean? <laughs> it must be a huge difference doing big international movies as opposed to doing the smaller local movies. As an actor, you kind of still have to do the work, yeah. you know. But on big budget movies like World War Z, everything's there for you. You know, they give you the ship. Yeah. You don't have to imagine that it's there. They give you the plane. You don't have to imagine that. If we knew where this thing started, then maybe we could kill it. Being in World War Z with Brad Pitt, does it add to the pressure? Absolutely. You just have to step up all the time. And that can add a lot of pressure to your work. And you did quite a few scenes with him. What was it like watching him work? It was inspiring in many ways. To see him work as an artist, but also just to see him as a human being. It's quite something, you know, I learned a lot from him as an artist. But I also saw him playing with kids. We had conversations about South Africa, talked about myself, my career. Tell us more about your role. I played a man by the name of Thierry Omutoni, who is sort of your Kofi Annan type character. He's the Deputy Secretary General of the UN. And he's a great friend of Jerry Lane, who's played by Brad Pitt. And in the beginning of the film, he's probably the most powerful human being left on Earth at that point. Mr. Undersecretary. <laughs> Undersecretary here says you were his best investigator when you were at the UN. I want to send you in with the team. Help Dr. Fosbach find whatever it is he needs. Well, I, I want it for the circumstances to speak for themselves. Can't help you. The gravity Funner brings to a part means he's usually cast in serious roles. But at masquerade costume hire, we found he also loves to play it larger than life and return to the fun of drama school days. Start spreading the news. Where's Simba? I'm leaving ah. today. <laughs> I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. <laughs> I find it so interesting that you came out singing New York, New York. You've just come from the premiere in New York. Oh, that was fantastic. You know, um, I've never, I, I mean, I've done red carpets here in South Africa, with the Saftas and so on and so forth, but I've never had the, the, the you know, the, the atmosphere was just electric. You know, to have thousands and thousands of people there watching. <laughs> The viewers are very used to seeing you playing these very straightforward, hardcore characters. I'm sure it's nice for you to kind of break out of that every now and then. I enjoy playing with characters. Um, and, and it's a bit of a pain when you get typecast. I recently did a character in Hopeville who was completely off the wall. 
you know, um, and I love that. And I wish I could do a little bit more of that, but you know, sometimes you don't have control over these things. Mm -hmm. So should we change this up a bit? Should we break out of this? Absolutely, let's do something more exciting. Finally, he was getting the chance to turn into a zombie. <laughs> okay, I think you're a much scarier zombie than I am. That's a cool mask. From the classic B-grade zombies, the genre has changed a lot. I think this, this movie will change the genre. We haven't seen these kind of zombies. They're not your sort of stilted uh, Michael Jackson war <laughs> types, you know. They're fast, they're hungry, and they move and they keep the film going as such. And I think this is what will make this film very different in that genre. Over lunch at the Saxon in Sandhurst, Farmer told us he feels World War Z will give him the key to open many more doors for himself. This is no idle star, even when there's nothing to do. Some people say that this industry is hurry up and wait. So what do you do when you're waiting? I like sitting down for a meal, having a good conversation with a good couple of friends, sitting by the pool, whether it's out there in, in the bundus, it doesn't really matter. But I, I, you know, I like things that... Um, that stimulate my mind. So things like reading, literature, poetry. I spend a lot of time on my tablet, either writing something or, or scribbling something. But I like art, so I'll probably be drawing something, anything. Uh, that's kind of um, the thing that I enjoy the most. Well, you know what, let's organize a pen and paper. We've got a beautiful setting here, so how about we sketch a little something? Really? Okay. Fana loves to travel both in South Africa and abroad, giving him plenty of opportunity to sketch his surrounds. As filming moved around Europe, he became very handy with a pencil and sketch pad. Are you done? Yeah, I, mean, I suppose the sketches go. That's... Uh... Huh. Okay. Either you're really talented, or you have a lot of hurry up and wait time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're being nice. Thank you very much. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask you to sign this, then I'm going to put it up on my wall, and okay. one day I'm going to sell it for millions. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that will happen. <laughs> Take a look at that. You know what, I'm not even going to bother to sign mine. <laughs> no, you sign it, why not? <laughs> so thank you so much and all the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. The World War Z Blockbuster opens at cinemas around South Africa tomorrow.